Hello friends. Um, today I have um, an article from from back home and um, I it you know it's from a local little newspaper and I never got a chance to to, to do this video. So I'm going to do it now and um, it is regarding um, uh, diaper wipes and the hazards that they you know this causes um, when it gets down into the septic system and sewer system and um, you know causes blockages etc okay this is the paper and it's called common product cause of underground havoc <clears throat> residents across the country including Hampton Township, may be just one flush away from a major disaster. The problem is diaper wipes. The solution is a garbage can. That's what Hampton Township Environmental Director Jim Dignan is trying to communicate to local residents. He said the simple act of throwing away diaper wipes, wet wipes, or any type of pre-moistened towelettes instead of flushing them can save on some major sewerage infrastructure problems down the road, down the line. This is one of those things that can be truly avoided. That's because proper disposal of diaper wipes is tantamount for the well-being of sewerage infrastructure on both personal property and township systems. He said wipes are made of a synthetic material and do not break down unlike toilet paper. Even those wipes that are labeled flushable are not any better, not breaking down despite its name. The wipes or rags, as he terms them, bind together and form an incredibly strong synthetic bond, causing clogs um, as well as other items can catch on to them or these can catch onto a tree root or some other obstruction and collect, build up, and then clog a pipe. Okay, ragging entangles sewer pipes, and this is a continuation. If wipes make it past the sewage plumbing, it can cause problems at the township's main sewer lines and also at its sewer treatment plant, which are not designed to break down these strong fibers. The plant has been struggling with aging infrastructure for years. The problem of ragging is when baby wipes, dental floss, paper towels, facial tissue, and other items that are not designed for flushing entangles sewer pumps according to the township. It's a national problem which can be backed up by searching on the internet for diaper wipes damage. He said, one shows a ball of rags collected so much debris that a crane had to remove it from un underground. The township purchased costly devices designed to break and cut down the rags but they have been problematic. Basically, it begins at the residents' homes where these items are getting flushed. Homes with older piping may have some abnormalities or tree roots, tree roots where rags can get caught. Next, a homeowner has a repair problem. There have been some ongoing significant issues with the pump station on East Hardy's Road, which services 39 homes. Sewage officials are out there on a monthly basis removing wipes or rags from the pump, sometimes by hand. If a pump station is clogged, water could be backing up into homes and it's an increase every year in labor and repair cost. This is a problem and we're simply asking for everyone's cooperation and keeping them out of the system. There have been efforts nationally to in 
in large, no flushing symbols on the packages. We are not alone. As far as diaper wipes go, a few moms from the Hampton area are on board with the no flush rule. Erica Bayer of Allison Park has a seven-year-old and a one-year-old and is expecting a new baby next month. Well, I'm not really sure that uh, Erica Bayer is too concerned about the environment. She said she'll occasionally um, flush wipes when her oldest was in diapers if she was out and about, but it's just as easy throwing away diapers with wipes. Once she got a job as a group home manager, she found out how bad flushing is and only throws them away now. As far as possible solutions, uh, residents could go the cloth route. Judy McCauley of Hampton Township said she uses a mix of cloths and store-bought wipes for her children. She is owner of Happy Baby Store in Bellevue that sells cloth diapers and an old-fashioned Green Cheeks diaper service, which collects and cleans cloth diapering items and returns them fresh. I think cloth has definitely been making a comeback over the last decade. It saves money and the environment. It's actually very easy to clean cloth diapers. Whatever the case, please don't just don't flush. It can save headaches for them and for us and save money. So anyway, I am finally writing an, a letter to the editor regarding this subject and as well as introducing antinatalism. So I'm going to read you the letter to the editor that I'm going to send, and I hope it is printed and that I get a reply. Uh, to the editor, I read the front page article September 2nd, 2008, regarding the flushing of diaper wipes. Reproduction, quote, having a biological child, was never a good idea for the environment. In fact, Disposable diapers alone do not break down until about 500 plus years in landfills because they need oxygen and light to do so. The staff writer should have mentioned the greater harms to the environment by having just one child. Um, Erica Bayer, um, soon to be mom of three, mentioned in the article, is doing a great injustice to the environment by chronically reproducing and greatly increasing her and her partner's carbon footprint. In addition, last but certainly not least, her children enter an uh, overcrowded, stressed planet where they are guaranteed to suffer, catch disease, age, be exposed to crime, de decline, and die. Why on E A R T H would a biological parent gamble with their children's lives and cause such detriment to the environment at the same time? Okay, so that's my letter, folks. <laughs> so thank you for watching this far and this beautiful um, 33rd floor view. Of Manhattan and uh, the Hudson River over there and this really really cool uh, I don't know penthouse looking um, area with the, um, the the grass over there um, wouldn't that make a really nice yard for um, dogs <laughs> And I welcome uh, all of your replies and suggestions. So, um, and, and, and any future content that you would like me um, to expound on, um, you could also uh, communicate that to me um, by a reply um, down below. It's getting a little dark here, and uh, it's really pretty. It's um, The sun has gone down, and so there's no glare.